bobbers. We're gonna go over my bobbers today and let you guys see the different uses, and different styles of bobbers. I went through all these bobbers to come up with five of them that I like the most. I'm gonna show them on to you. YouTube, look where I'm fishing at. Got the little bench. This has got to be the coolest fishing spot in the harbor. Take advantage of it because when they put boats in, that's it. Can't fish it anymore. Oh, I got a bite. Put this on my head. Jigga, did, did I just have a bite? Yes, sir. Not yet. We just came out, but I think I'm getting a bite now. They're getting a couple down there. <laughs> Don't break nothing. Camera's rolling. Say hi to YouTube. Yeah. That corner should, should produce a little something. That's what you're looking for. Man, YouTube, YouTube, that is a beautiful boat. YouTube, YouTube, it's Buffalo Perch Killer, and we're talking bobbers today. We got all kinds of bobbers spread out over here from slip bobbers to spring bobbers. You got even got a couple of night bobbers over here. So we're going to talk about, let's talk about the spring bobbers that I like to use for perch. These are fixed bobbers with the springs on them. This is a really nice one. It's got the orange. A lot of these bobbers, a lot of people just grab them not knowing that the colors mean a lot. Sometimes on sunny days, you might want to use an orange bobber. Well, I think the sunny days is more the lighter green and then the overcast days are the orange bobbers but a lot of these bobbers they, they react differently on different fish i don't use the same bobber for the same fish all the time but spring bobbers i use a lot for perch and panfish definitely perch definitely a perch type of bobber not too heavy not too much resistance so when the perch hits on the worm or the minnow they they're not alerted fixed bobber these are some of the best bobbers here too. This this is this this bobber right here might fall into my top five of fixed bobbers. If you ever watch Bill and Mike uh, 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 YouTube videos, they use these a lot. These these are some very nice bobbers. They sell them everywhere, but these are some very nice bobbers. These things are weighted, so you can really cast them out, and that weight helps hide the the buoyancy of the bobber. So when the fish hits it, it doesn't feel that it's pulling the bobber down. So this thing is really nice. That's probably why those guys use them a lot. I think Bill and Mike, we're gonna talk about Bill and Mike for a minute. Those guys got the best fishing team, Bill, Mike, and Rob. I think those are the, the best fishing team in Western New York, hands down. I don't care what nobody says. I would like to be the best, but I'm gonna tell you, those guys have the best fishing team in Western New York. A lot of times you'll see them using these bobbers right here. Great bobber to use. That, that, we're gonna put this in the top five. So I got those three for the top five right now. All right. So back to the fixed bobbers. This is a fixed bobber. You can use these for calico. You can use these for perch. This one here, I like these for perch. These bigger ones. I love these for rock bass, smallmouth bass, and things like that. Because they do have a lot of resistance. But they're great. They're, they're really fun to fish with if you're fishing for the right fish. This one here broke, but I'm gonna actually drill a hole and turn it into a slip bobber. But they're really, you can see them from anywhere. But like I said, they're, they're, they're a little girthy, so we're gonna call that rock bass and smallmouth bass. Everything over here is still drift fishing. These are fixed bobbers too, though. All right. These small fixed bobbers, when I call fixed, meaning you know, you know what I'm talking about. Now this is a perfect example. The one on the left doesn't have a weight. The one on the right does have a weight. But these are excellent for kids, and these are excellent for panfish, meaning sunnies, bluegills, perch, anything like that. These things are great. I just don't like the bigger ones. I, I, I like to go very light. 
so those are the fixed bobbers and we got one of the fixed bobbers into our top five all right so i'm going to show you my favorite slip bobbers this is one of the my favorites very light bobber very 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 light bobber slip bobber you can fit 10 10 feet down 12 feet down eight feet down slip bobbers are are, are my go-to bobber bobbers like this this is a combination of a slip bobber and a spring bobber see the hole that's a slip and a spring bobber right there you know so these are things that you got to take in, in into uh consideration when you're purchasing a bobber for what type of fish that you want to use so a quick recap let's do what i like to fish for buffalo perch killers slip bobber selection all right this right here perch killer all my bobbers are pretty much perch setups slip bobber non-weighted big hole doesn't bind up on your line one of my favorites these here also slip bobbers very very finicky more like a calico type bobber this is a spring and a slip calico type bobber to me perch slip bobber let's see bobbers these big bobbers here i usually use these for northerns northern pike this is the way that you want the orange side up this is a big bobber put a big piece of bait on there it's going to hold it a bigger fish will pull this down these here are actually the ones you use later on at night you hit that green with a light and it activates it it's actually a glow yeah it's a weighted glow pole float yeah it's illuminated weighted this thing's got a weight in the bottom of it cast it out there it's an excellent excellent float northerns muskies channel cats stuff like that it's an excellent float so we got all types of bobbers for all you still have fishermen we got the float type bobbers these are the kind that you want to drift fish with something very 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 light and stealthy steelhead legend he he this is his main bobber right here very stealthy bobber for steelhead this is something that you want to use that the fish can barely see in the water something they can't detect bobbers are very very important tool perch killers everything in here is a perch killer talking bobbers with the perch killer i've been holding this case back i haven't said anything about anything inside this case this is my case the, this is this is the my favorite bobbers in this case we're, we're not going to put these in the top five but if you guys know what these are these are thill bobbers these bo bobbers i think they're made out of oh i forgot the name of the wood you guys know very very light wood these things are super sensitive all kinds in here these are some very nice bobbers to fish with very nice bobbers very nice indicator these are good for the wind theo bobbers here for the wind these stand up high in the water this one stands up short in the water this one here excellent 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 uh crappy bobber this is a fixed one though this, these two are fixed bobbers two different sizes made by phil probably one of the best crappy bobbers you ever want to fish with these things are super sensitive they're very very light going down in the water so are these the fish can barely barely tell it tell it they're there this one here i use this one for ice fishing this year these were really good in the ice these also i use for ice fishing these smaller ones you they're not just for ice fishing but with the hole being so small that's what i use them for these here smaller pan fish type bobbers deal i i got a little passion for these things my slip deals here i i love these for the perch smaller ones for the calico these here small bore harbor one of the number one this one here and this one this bobber here this bobber here and this one are some of my best bobbers for the small bore harbor where we are now this 
this, 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 these three here are some of my best small, small boat harbor bobbers. When I'm out showing off, trying to catch some perch, the, the, the orange on them are, are, are very, very good, easy to see. All right, so that's my this, this is my Theo collection here. These are some very, very good bobbers. Now the Crappy King, oh, excuse me, not the Crappy King. There's two different guys. One is the Crappy King. One's the Crappy Killer. The Crappy Killer, he gave me these. These bob bobbers he got from off the internet, and he's a he's a jig fisherman. That's another thing we didn't talk about. F fishing, jig fishing, and fishing with live bait. These bobbers mean a lot, so I'm gonna have to add that into it some kind of way. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. All right, back to this jig fishing thing. These bobbers here, the ones that I showed you that I love to use for the small boat harbor. All these can be used for jigging. All these can be used for jigging. Anything inside this case really can be used for jigging. But these in particular are jig fishing type fish uh, rigs. You want something light? This is tremendously light. Oh my God, I wish you guys could see how light it is. You want something light? You want something that the fish can't detect? These are some of the tricks that catch, produce a lot of, a lot of fish. A lot of guys don't know. All right, but uh, th these are your more of a jigging type bobbers. Anything in this case is good for jigging. Actually, anything in here. But these bobbers right here, man. If you guys haven't got any, they sell them at Cabela's. Get you the bigger ones for the perch, the smaller ones for the calico. You'll love it. But you gotta have the right pole for the right fish. So I'm going to go show you a couple of these poles and then we're going to cut this video. But these are the bobbers that we use. And, and the bobber that we didn't talk about are some night bobbers. So, jigging type bobbers. You guys know what that is. Jigging with uh, soft plastics. Uh, live bait type bobbers. Slips. Fixed live bait. Live bait. Big live bait. Big live bait. For all you trout fishermen and stuff like that, these are the ones I use for drifting. I, I don't know what you guys use, but these are the ones I use. These are the ones I I tend to go to when we're fishing for trout and stuff like that. Alright, I'm going to show you a couple of these poles. set up for me catching perch it's got a weighted bobber on it it's actually a deal bobber weighted size six hook this is my go-to setup this thing right now i don't know if you guys can see that tie that's in there this thing right now is set up for like 10 feet deep but this is generally the way that you're going to see me set up for perch like I said, this is not a crappy style bobber to me. This is a more of a perch style bobber. Not saying this can't fish for crappy with it, but this is my perch bobber. I use this style. This one here, I would use. And, and you got to make sure that you can see the bobber in the type of water that you're fishing in. But this is my go-to setup for perch: slip bobber, bead, split shots, size six hook, perch killer. This is actually called the perch killer. This is a 10 foot pole, this is a 10 footer. This is a 10 foot six. This is my perch killer. And that's set up for catching perch. You wanna catch perch, you wanna set up like this. Another perch killer. This is my 12 foot. You guys seen it? This is my 12 foot. Set up with a perch rig. See the perch rig on there with the two, with the two hooks. Three-quarter ounce sinker. Not a heavy, heavy sinker. Three-quarter ounce sinker. Perch rig. This is a perch killer right here. Six-pound test on this thing. Six-pound test on that. 
Not eight, not ten, six. I'm not saying it can't catch with eight or ten. I prefer six. Perch rig, these are a little bit bigger hooks, these are minnow hooks. It's the way we catch them, it's the way I catch them. This last one I'm going to show you here. This one is actually set up for jigging. This is also a 10 foot 6 pole. Nice pole right here. It's the one that I uh, did the handle on. It's a beautiful pole. Super light. This sucker's super light. Four, four pound test. Squirm and squirt jig. There's the jig. Now, I got the stealth bobber on there. But it's actually not the right bobber. The uh, crappy killer held this pole today. He loved it. He said, what do you feel when you hold this pole? The pole is so light, all you can feel is the weight of the bobber. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to this type of bobber. This type of Theo bobber, something super light. So when I hold the pole, you cannot feel the weight of the bobber. The weight of the bobber is overtaking everything else. So I'm going to change that bobber out, put a lighter one on there. But these are the three ways that you catch perch. Light pole, slip bobber, jig. Light line pole, slip bobber. Number six hook for live bait, worms or minnows. Doesn't make any difference. If you're fishing off the bottom with the perch rig. So it's three different ways that you guys can catch perch. Don't never say that the perch killer didn't share his secrets with you. you set up like that, and if the perch are biting, you're gonna catch them. Alright? So that's what we got guys. That's what we got. We got the three different setups on the poles. We got the three different setups on the poles. Perch killer always go long. You'll get a hang for it if you try. Same. We got the steel bobbers there. Jigging styles. We went over all the bobbers. So you got a lot. Hopefully, hopefully this video helps you guys on how to catch more perch. That is my goal. To help guys catch more perch. So let's uh Try some of the stuff out and hit me in the comments and tell me what you guys liked. These techniques are not only good for the city of Buffalo or Lake Erie. You can use them in your hometowns and your lakes and combine them with your techniques and, and your poles and find out what, which one works best for you. All right. So we went over the stealthy type trout bobbers, drifting bobbers. We went over the big... Uh, just call them northern pike bobbers or something like that because that's what I use them for. These bigger bobbers right here that I like to use for rock bass and bass. We went over the smaller ones that we like to use for the grandkids and kids for the, the, the pan fish. We went over these uh, fixed bobbers right here for the perch. Slip bobbers for the perch. And we went over these here. I still got to get two more out for my top five. And then, then, then my uh, th these here, these are the the Theo bobbers. So for the top five guys, I'm gonna get these out right now. These are my top five bobbers. For oh my god, if I had to pick one more, what would be my top five bobber for one more bobber? I'd have to go here. So for the B Buffalo Perch Killers top five bobbers, I've got this spring bobber fixed. Love it. This one here, weighted, fixed. My new favorite bobber, small boat harbor bobber, slip. This one right here, I had a ton of fun with this bobber last year. Caught so many fish off of this ridiculous slip bobber and my new favorite 
this thing's got a funny name, Wobble Wobble or something like that. This thing holds a lot of weight. So this turns out to be one of my other favorite bobbers. So the top five bobbers are right here, guys. Those five right there. But I can talk all day. I'm going to get out here now and see if the fish cut on. Hope you hope I helped you guys. Let me go fishing. Buffalo perch killer out. Fishing out of Buffalo, New York. Small Boar Harbor, home of the Buffalo Perch Killer. Oh yeah, one more thing guys, we can't park in the parking lot anymore in front of the docks. So you guys make sure you take advantage of parking inside the slips that they got a, a lot of for us and clean up your trash. All right, Buffalo Perch Killer out.